¿Qué pasa? How many doors? Um, I've got two ready to fit. This one I just need to take a bit off the bottom and then it's going to go on. Right. Everything's ready to all the holes. Wow. Well done, you. I just need my wife to help me. <laughs> you think you can hold it? Yeah. Por ahí va Bone. Aquí está Don Daniel, Juan Pablo. Hello. Hello. What are you doing there? I'm doing a thousand buckets. <laughs> Maybe two thousand buckets. Oh dear. Yo dice hacer dos mil baldes. Posible uno un mil o dos mil baldes. Está bromeando. <laughs> Well, if you hang around long enough, you'll see we are filling all of these beams with concrete and it's done with wheelbarrows and buckets. It's not like the pumping mechanisms in cities where you have access to a big truck and you fill it quickly. Now, I just broke our vibrator as well. <gasps> we've got two, we've got a big one and a small one. The small one's perfect for this job. And we just broke it. So we have to get our fixed. Oh, yeah, we about your head, no? So we're here at the top of the where the water is, that's where we get our water down there. And uh, I'm shoveling into bags, at least tying the knot. And we made two barriers here with about, I would say, on the first one, probably slightly more, on the second one, it'd be slightly less. First one, maybe, yeah, maybe 15 centimeters uh, depth. And then we've left a little, a few gullies, four gullies where the water comes over. Uh, well, three, more, more three than four. But and here we're going to do the same so that the water doesn't get stagnated and stay too, too, for too long. But here it'll probably be 10 centimetres by the time we finish. Yeah, clearing the sand. That's water. That's only halfway down the pipe. That's coming from the source. Down that pipe, all the way up into the jungle. Esto es increíble. This is incredible. Look at that. <laughs> Finally, we have water coming. There's a little boy over there just on his own in the middle of this massive, busy road, busy junction. And it's interesting, we've seen a lot of kids this evening.
the, in, in this channel there's generally a, they a are staying. living in the, t in the, in the channel. Uh, yeah, there's some other, other people over there as well. We're constantly finding new, new locations of where people are, but they often are moved. They either move themselves or the police move them on, or they get picked up by the police and then drop in the middle of nowhere and then they, they disperse. It's really hard to do to do mission sometimes in the city because they, they disperse and then when you're not doing mission and you're just literally driving home, you see them all. <laughs> you know, with everything that we normally go out to do, we're not prepared. It's, it's quite frustrating. So we've got some strategies up our sleeves that we're thinking about for, for helping people. We came to a community where there's a lot of poverty. Um, we came to give them some food and Thank you very well to bless them. Yeah. So we're in a community, a community called Monte Verde. They have a school and they have a basketball court. This is up into the jungle from where we live. We've been meaning to come and visit this community for a long time. And today was today. So we're coming with gifts of rice and beans and oil and clothes. And you can see uh, people living here are very poor. Some houses are now with brick, but a lot of them are still with mud and sticks. And uh, there's some beautiful families living here. We are talking with this family. Um, this lady's cooking on fire. She's got a baby in the back of her uh, cloth that she's got wrapped around her shoulders. There's a beautiful baby in there. She's got four young kids living in uh, stick houses. I call them stick and stick and straw. And uh, and cooking on a fire and she's got another two children i believe at school so very poor family so it's amazing coming and helping this community here very beautiful uh -huh. so, many people here maybe speaking quechua yeah. huh mucho personas aquí hablar quechua uh -huh. ah yeah uh -huh. entonces yo necesito aprender uh -huh. <laughs> estudio sí. uh -huh. Uh -huh. hay un app el nombre en, en mi teléfono el nombre es duolingo Mm. Yo uh, estudio español en este app. Mm. Mi esposa dice, ¿hay quechua? Mm. Pero no hay. Mm. <ríe> Qué pena, ¿no? Mm. So, yeah. Podemos orar por los, por los nietos. Sí, podemos orar por los nietos. So this is where they cook. They build this with mud and, and straw and put some metal across, like some old rebar. And then they put a pot on top and they cook with that. And they burn the, the cobs of the corn when they're taking the corn off and it's quite intoxicating to breathe that in but they burn very well they're like charcoal when when they when they're burning so yeah como esta todo bien si familia cordelia y guadalupe y también los otros niños mamá de familia si si en el nombre de jesus por favor dios ayuda a esta familia didn't we know a guy called Haima anymore? Sorry? Didn't we know, know a guy called Haima? Herman? Herman? Haima. Haima. No. Haima. 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 So while we were here with the car unloading with food, being careful while I'm filming because not everyone maybe gives us permission to film everything. There's a lot of kids and a lot of people now surrounded us. And we're realizing actually this community is much more in need than we, we realize. We've never driven up here before, so it's uh, a revelation for us to be here and see what's going on here. Hello, Emma. We are here giving clothes and shoes. And look, it fit her very well. You wear your sandals of flip flops. So I am making this little short video for you because we came to this community. This is a quite poor community, and we are giving. We are giving clothes and we was giving food as well. So, yeah, there it is. Thank you so much, Emma, for for that. Yeah.